occurs to me that I haven't put out any videos of late, so I thought I could share um, the way that I journal. And I use this um, DIY traveler's notebook that I have a previous video that shows a flip through of it. And, and I have this, I keep this pen sling quiver, whatever you want to call it, on here. And it, it's the kind that has two elastics in there. And I've made ones that have three elastics in the center. Elastic bindings. <laughs> um, so I have two booklets in here. And how I do it is I just make my booklets, uh, traveler notebook booklets, that fit into the, that are held in there by the elastic. So this one is pretty, pretty full. Um, I bind it, I showed in a previous video how to make these booklets, um, and then I just write the date on there so that when it's full I can just remove it and put in a, a new one. But I thought I could show you um, the way that I journal. Uh, let's see. So it's just about keeping notes, little things that I pick up, little doodles, and I make little tabs, journal in there. And the whole booklet is made out of paper that I otherwise would have put into the recycle or the garbage or like this like painted paper I just fold it and make my booklets and this is some painted paper I was doing some one stroke painting there a long time ago and used that for to make a pocket and I like to collect the um, labels of food that I eat or my favorite tea. Make pockets whenever I can there. Little fold outs, tip outs, tip ins, whatever you call it. Favorite poems or pictures that I like to read again and again. That's from my Daphne's diary. Oh, little doodles that I did on some uh, scrap paper and this pockets made from paper and a napkin you see that it folded over on itself I could fix that and I tuck some notes in there and I just make some pockets out of um, some scrapbook paper and I just like to keep that little tags from things I buy. Well, some doilies from tea that I had at a restaurant. Well, that's self-explanatory, isn't it? <laughs> and then um, I made some pockets or envelopes, whatever, out of um, painted paper that I did some leaves and in there I can collect some some kind of like negative comments that I made or some negative things that happened to me I don't like to keep them I just um, I can take and burn them or tear them up or whatever I don't or paint over them whatever it is and so and that slips in there and I like to paint on paper towels. It reacts differently. I like to keep the um, labels on things and stick them back on here. And just shows what I've what I bought, what I've used, and my favorite almonds and 
blueberries, just like that. And I also use some printed things that I can then transfer. If I if I fill up this book, I can then just transfer all of that stuff to my new one that I make out of scrap paper. And it's like little tucks that are there. Um, and this is from like a Kleenex tissue box. Again, printed stuff. Tucks. Cute magazine glue. <laughs> Gluing in for that. I like that. And usually keep a bookmark. And cards that I really love that I get and rather than throwing them in the recycle bin I, I so love them I just tear the writing off and put that on there and it's, it makes a nice little pocket yeah just the uh, tryout stencil tryouts and doilies doilies little uh, plastic um, Tags that go on to fresh asparagus, just scrap paper, that print that didn't work so good, and magazine images, painted papers, stickers, and that's the end of it. So when I am done, I can just pop this book out all together and store it away with all of my other ones and then I can start another one and I think that's a pretty neat way to do it um, because you can use up all your scrap paper or painted paper um, and I like to do that so I thought maybe that would give you an idea for your own journaling um, it doesn't have to be written journaling it can be what I call anything journaling Kind of like a smash book, I guess. You just cram whatever you want in there, you know, be it, be it painting or gluing papers or whatever you want. Because it's yours. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you'll see some more of my videos. Bye.